in here, Keller Williams Realty in Chico, California. Uh, doing a quick video, as quick as possible. Uh, Agent Sites is great. Uh, there's only a few widgets. So this video is to show you how um, some workarounds uh, that are possible. So if you have uh, CMA, so essentially I was trying to find out a way to get this landing page uh, connected to my agent site. So CRMLS, which is the MLS that I'm a part of here in Chico, uh, offers Cloud CMA as a free service. With that free service is this great handy dandy landing page where people can request a CMA. So this is the workaround that I found. Unfortunately, there are some JavaScripts that just do not work. Um, there is potentially another workaround that I can show you as well uh, with this site here. But for the sake of this, uh, we are essentially going to create a button that will go on your website. So to start out, we actually need to log into your site. So or into command, so make sure you log into command and sites is all the way at the bottom left. Your page might look different. Uh, I actually don't use these right now since agent sites has kind of expanded a little bit. So we need to create a new site. So we're going to click on create a new site and you're going to wanna to select on my agent site. That gives us the ability to actually add the page to your site. If you make a standalone page, you cannot add it. So we're going to create page. It's going to bring you to this a great blank canvas here. You're going to want to name this page. Now this name that you give it, it's on the back end. It is not what the forward facing is going to be. So you can make it whatever you want it to be. So over here are the widgets. Uh, then there's content blocks and layout blocks. So for the sake of this button uh, to get a CMA button for people to be able to request a CMA, the best one that I've found is actually the company profile. So you click and drag it over here. So how we edit all this is down here in the bottom right, you click configure widget and you're going to click company profile. Now. The main headline is going to be what's right here. So uh, free home value estimate. So here's the thing. When you're changing things here, it doesn't update live over here. In order to see those changes, you need to click save and apply and it changes. So you have the ability to change this text. Uh, you cannot change this background here, the color around it. However, you can change the picture here. So the main area that we will be using in order to uh, install or put this button on is actually the intro text button, which will go right here. So in order to do that, what you need is your link that takes you to that site. So the link that takes people here to my branded site, I, you just copy the link. So you have the link, okay. <clears throat> Pardon me. So you need to open a tab uh, in Button Generator. So it's this website right here, maxbuttons.com backslash button slash generator. That will bring you to this page. You're going to scroll down a little ways. So you can see here under basics. Uh, so on the right, you have the preview. Uh, this is going to give you the preview of your button. So there's actually a hover over. So the two different colors are, this is if you're not hovering, this is if you are hovering. To show you, I'll quick show you on my site what that looks like. So I need to make the page a little prettier, but for, it works now. So you can see what's my home worth. And when I go over it, see how it changes. So that's what that hover is. So that's that difference. So you're going to come in here to the URL and you're going to paste whatever that URL is. And you wanna make sure that you click open in a new window. So when they click on it, it actually opens it in a new 
tab so that your site still stays open in their web browser, if that makes sense. So button generator, so I've got that there. Uh, so text, that's what's going to go here. So uh, free home value, uh, just kidding. Uh, what's my home worth? Okay, you can see it kind of doesn't fit. Well, we can work with that. So choose your font. That looks a little better. You can adjust what it looks like. Now, on my site, the button's bigger. So how do you make that bigger? That's right here, button width. So I found that 250 to 225 works best for that. Uh, and then what you can do is you can just adjust the text. Now it's not center, so that's actually padding. So you can just kind of mess with the padding uh, to kind of get it center. So what's my home worth? So text color, this is for what's right here. So if I change that, see the preview, it shows you. So it's kind of nice, you get a real time show of what that looks like. So down here, uh, this is the hover. You can change all that. For now, you don't need to worry about that. This is how you can change the background color. So if you want to change it, you can do that. Okay, so we get down to the bottom and you click get button code. Here it is. So you're going to select all of it and you're going to copy it, okay? Now you're gonna go back to your site and right here where it says intro text, you're actually going to select all that, delete it and you're going to paste the new button all that code that you just copied. You're going to add that there and click save and apply and boom, there's your button. And now that will be live in order uh, to do that. Now on my site, you can see that I have some text here. Well, you cannot add text. Once you've added code here, you can't just add text at the top. So. That requires this online HTML editor. It's extremely easy to use. Um, what I found best to make things center is to actually, there's other tutorials, you just insert a table, you, the properties, uh, the width, we're gonna do we're percentages because that's how it will fill the page and then we're going to center it, okay? Now, format, heading one, uh, what's my home worth? And we're going to center that. See how it's creating this here? This we are going to copy and paste. So we're going to add another table to add some more text. Now you can see how that works. Uh, you can type in whatever you want. So, you know, I have something about, uh, have you ever read the fine print on Zillow? They admit that their estimates can be up to 20% off. You know what, I'm just gonna, because I don't wanna spend the time typing this right now, I'm just going to copy and paste it. Again, we're in this html-online.com backslash editor. Well, the table, remember, we want 100% width and centered. And then you can go in here and type in whatever it is that you want to have. Uh, this format, I'm going to do heading two. Make sure this top one is heading one. And so I'm going to copy this. And I'm gonna go back to this page and at the top, I'm just going to input it there and click save and apply. Bam, there it is. So you can mess with that and get it to look how you want, but you essentially have your button now available on your page and you can kind of mess with that. So now I'm gonna show you how to add that to your actual website. So you're gonna click, uh, you're, it's going to make you delete, you're going to wanna delete these sections. Um, only because you don't need them showing up underneath. That doesn't make sense. Right, so we're gonna delete these. If you require a footer, you, you can do that. But we're going to save and apply. 
and then that's all it is. Uh, save changes, and yes. Okay, so here it shows up. So how do we get it added to your actual site? Okay, so you're going to click Agent Sites, and then you have Domains, Theme, and Pages. You're actually going to click on Pages, and here's the pages on my website. So you're going to click Add Page, and this is the front facing. So CMA test, so uh, you can put free home value, estimator, whatever you want. The slug is what the web address is. So make that what you want. SEO description if you want to add one. And then you're going to click select page. And you're going to find that page you just created and select it and click continue and save changes. So when you save changes, and we go to your website, see it's right here? Here it is. And now you can click on it and it will go to that page. So that's the easiest workaround that I have found. I'm actually going to go in and delete that now because I don't want uh, that page because I already have it created. So that's essentially how you can add a button with a link uh, to your page if the JavaScript embedding is not working for that button, just go to the link that that would direct it to and create that button. If you have any questions, feel free. You can ask me, but hopefully that helped you out.